Hi fam, it's Dylan's mum, Deborah. This is Dylan Friend. He gives you a back rub. This is, you know, you're going well, Brian. Oh, it's special. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. Just keep showing up and find a way. Cam was so nervous, he couldn't swallow water. Handed him a sheet of paper with six names and said, Chief, we've got to cut these six blokes. Wow, shut up. I've just been barbed by a stingray, mate. I'm just yelling, oh, you saved my life, you saved my life, you saved my life. Thank you, thank you. I spent the last, I think it was a couple of weeks in jail. The deepest, darkest moments often bring about our biggest highs. Yes, welcome back to Footy and Friends. How good is this, ladies and gentlemen? Brought to you by our friends at Amy, who supports the supporters. Amy does. Yeah, Butsy. <laughs> yeah, right, Mickey B. How are you, buddy? I, I've been here for two hours, right? Yep. I got here early. early. Did you, you co- no, he came coding. Came he was coded. doing some coding, coding. of... Um, Tommy Dribble. Tommy Dribble. Uh, yeah. The Werribee Football Club played Collingwood yesterday, so coded that game up, had yep. a half to do. Had a busy day, actually. Had a full book. Um, presented jumpers at the AGSV, which we'll get to in a second. Oh, yes. He played in the AGSV game. I'm one of the youngest to play in, in it. Th- uh, who did? Who was? I was. I was the youngest to so play in it. I'm a grammarian. Year 10. Youngest to ever play in it. That's a good effort. Thank you. Did you play AGSV? Rep? 11, rep? Year 11. Year 11. 12. I played so two, year 10. Two, I played the year before him. Yeah. Well, the youngest ever. Youngest ever to play in it. Hey, welcome as well, boys. David Hill. I shared the ruck with David Hill. Big Hilly. Okay, that's fantastic. Now, just to, Good story. Just you want to talk about David Hill? Or yeah, maybe later. Sharing the ruck. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We'd love to. Played on Drew Petrie. Yeah. All righty. So we have Nick Butler, as you can imagine, in the studio today. A bit of feedback last week. They said less shit stories, right. yeah. more, more good, good ones. ones. So yeah. why did you bring him back? Well, the fans loved him. Yeah, he yeah, was fantastic. Yeah. And he was a bit of call by call. No, he was a bit of ball by ball. Ball by ball. Ball by ball. Oh, yes, yes. With, with Nodgy and Ruff. Uh, no, 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 with, uh, with BP, BP and, and Sellers McClure. Nah, Big Sellers. Yeah, yeah, Sellers nah, McClure. He's a good man, Sellers. Great man. Um, Mickey had a good win on the weekend. We'll get to that shortly. Over in the corner, we've got Willie, Willie Taylor. He's my favourite, Willie. Oh, Willie. He's a bit he's a bit dusty. He had a big weekend, the big fella. He's, uh, he's the a Lammies. Because yeah, Checkers played at Lammies. What do you mean in Geelong? Yeah. No, but Will also dominated for Geelong West, the Giants. He, he reckons he kicked goal of the year this weekend. But Geelong West has yeah. two teams, don't they? Like, yeah, in two so leagues. I'm, it's strange. I'm in the Geelong district, so we play mm. a bit more country teams. Um, yeah, inside out. Check. Uh, Checky. Checky? Yeah. Oh, yeah checky. Nice. Uh, check. We're just checking the mic. Yeah, just check <laughs> Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Um, Willie. Yeah. Pulled out the double cobra. Yeah. Um, yeah. Got everyone up and about at half time. And Ooh, apparently happy, didn't man. get everyone up and about at the game, but he was at Lambies. Lambies. Yes. He was getting up and about too. What talk us through Lambies, Will? Ah, so everyone knows that. Uh, Marmalade Boys. Uh, Checkers is actually a DJ. Yes. Um, and he had check, check, check. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of checking going on. <laughs> he, um, <laughs> he had a DJ at Lambies. Um, good set? Yeah, great set. Well, good, good. Uh, played the played a few bangers songs and the Geelong Geelong home crowd weren't weren't too when you do it no nah. but once we started, once you got up what, and what's out his uh, yeah. what's his uh, go to 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 get them uh, in a new environment well, yeah. does he go Oh, okay, so no, sort of Toto Africa kind of work. What would you go, Butsy? What's your uh, sort of go to? Yeah, kind of work. <laughs> no, no, I'm I'm like a bit of uh, Matchbox take 20 or something. On me, take on so, me. can I tell you something that you would love? Because do, 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 I, just a quick story before we get into it today. Make it a good one. It'll try. Yeah. I'll try. The first time I ever went out, I had an idea. I would have been mm, 16 and a half, I reckon. 16 and a half. And you tell your mum, you, you know, you're staying at someone's house. And I went out with this fake ID and we went to a place in the city called The Deck. The Deck. Do you remember The Deck? No. So it wasn't really even a club, but it was like a, it was a club. Mm. And upstairs, the first song that I ever like heard out was that song. We'll always be together. We're together in electric, electric dreams. dreams. Great yeah, song. It's such a tune. So like yes. whenever I hear that now, it just takes me back to my first place. First hangover. You're walking mm-hmm. around this club. Everyone's going, that bloke's 14 years old. And you you know that feeling of just mm-hmm. yeah, you, being you, out you, there. Well, being somewhere you shouldn't be. Yeah, exactly. It, it gets you in the feels, that song. It does. Yeah, so have I what... told you the my brother used to ring me every Thursday when I moved away at 20 to go and play at the Port Adelaide Magpies, Mick. Yeah. <laughs> and at this stage, <laughs> under, Matthew quite a lot, under Matthew Knights. Under Matthew Knights. And then Joe Who Cal. actually... 
took you over. You, you he said, took me over. That, that's a big deal, isn't it? The guy best that big comes man outside the, the AFL. That comes I was, over with the coach. I was uh, in the advertiser as the best big man outside the AFL. We yeah. recruited him, and I had a big uh, photo shoot on a boat. And then I delivered fuck all. Yeah. In can fact, you I imagine? think I owe the money. You can imagine. Because I gave you a, a hefty sign on. <laughs> How much? But, oh, it's 12 grand. Yeah. yeah. And they're nice, nice matches. Yeah. That was. Uh, that, that was, in, that was in. in the end, I played. Uh, 17 league games. Yeah. <laughs> that, was a scary that, that was a lot, that was a lot of money in the 80s. 80s. Did you? Uh, only coming back from injury. Yep. But I'll tell you what, it, it, I think that was my level. Because yep. I used <laughs> that to, was take, a lot of money I used in to the take the piss in the Sample Reserves. I was very good in the Sample Reserves. Bags of fire. That was a lot in I'm the getting 80s. back to my story. That was a lot story. in the 80s as well, wasn't it? I, 12 grand. In the 80s, uh, in that the was a lot of money. In the 2000s. Okay. <laughs> it was quite good. State league. Times. Have you got anyone on a 12 grand sign on, Mick? I can't disclose that. No, you're you on that no. pokey money. You probably do. <laughs> hey, what I was saying is my brother missed me because he's only 17, 16 at the time. I've moved away to Adelaide pre-Facebook this. Mm. Uh, so every pre, pre Thursday, <laughs> every Thursday, I'm kind of needing a good sleep before my sandfall uh, two's work. Take the landline off. Uh, the... And uh, he would be out in the piss with his mates and that song would come on and they'd ring the landline <laughs> Maybe they're at, at the deck with 5 a.m. Like until I picked it up and it was downstairs. Yeah. So these fucking Can't... idiots. <laughs> and that would ruin my, my two nights before the game sleep. So that's what happened. That's why he didn't. Uh, and that song, I, 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 but I had to smile. <laughs> yeah, it's a good song. Singing. So, you know, um, they story. plenty to get through today because it's been a big weekend. Um, we got a good little... Segment later on with Amy Fansurance, which is always here to help the fans. Now, there's plenty of clangers. We talk about it most weeks with what we've been through. Yes. Can, can I start with a clangers? I'll just quickly just finish this <laughs> quickly, credit? just to, just to quickly. Clanger, Mick. Yeah, I'll just quickly finish this. Okay, mate. Yeah, um, we'll just, tell Amy about your AFL-related clanger in 50 words or less or tweet it using hashtag Amy Fansurance, and you'll go in the running for a range of prizes, Good including reading. tickets to the 2023 – Toyota AFL Grand Final, which is huge. And then we said it before, who supports supporters? Amy does. So if you have a clanger, any clanger at all, make sure you send it through to Amy yep. and you go on the running to win all those prizes. So mm. we've spoken about ours, haven't we? There's been plenty. Well, we, yeah, every week I feel like you just get someone to sponsor the show that wants to hear clangers. Yeah, yeah well, they've, they've, they've come to the right one. I'm out of them. But, uh, got, well, no, I've had a clanger last night yeah. oh, um, no. after my two games of Ball by Ball, Mick, which yeah. went quite well. So you I, called Geelong and Port? No, no, I did No, the, that's too much of a prompt. Oh, no, I did. I did the Battle of the Bridge. <laughs> Giants, Sydney. Sydney Giants. Yeah. Saturday night. You did that? Yeah, I did That's that. That's a big game. Yeah. Big game. Toby, it was uh, quite a good game. Yeah. It was, Errol Gould. The weather yeah. came. Sellers and... was calling him Gould. Um... <laughs> Goulding? <laughs> did, did you pull him up on it? Or did, nah. you, did you start to, <laughs> no, yeah, it's good. Did no. you start to second guess yourself? Am I calling oh. Errol Gould in the right well, I must say, um, yesterday there was a... a did Sellers did a double? Sellers did a double too. And you did a double. Yeah, but my co-caller was... Uh, and I've done a, done my prep and I'm, I'm pretty good with my ID. Mm. And um, there was young uh, Kemp running around for Carlton. Kemp, I must say I didn't Kemp. know a lot about. So Brody I had to watch Kemp. a few... Ta- Brody Kemp. But my co-caller... The first four times he had the ball was calling him Boyd. Oh. And I go, oh, shit, he's called him Boyd once. <laughs> Next minute, he's t- twice, three times. I'm going, you're throwing your coke under, under, under the bus. No, <laughs> no, never. So you never correct yeah, of course. on air. Oh, Got to half time. I and do. I, and this is how I did it, <laughs> Mick. So I said, uh, Knackers, look, I think I've done this once as well. I reckon you've called uh, Ken Boyd a bit. And he goes, oh, sh- no, I haven't. I go, look, I'm okay. <laughs> uh, just. Yeah, it's Kemp. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we cleaned it up. Yeah, so, okay. so you never, yeah. you never yeah. have your bloke. Boyd's out. Boyd's suspended. Yeah, but yeah, you know, Kemp Boyd. Oh, they're also about thirty centimeters yeah. apart. I reckon. Yeah, it's a, beauty, it's a beauty number. of radio. Uh, Kemp radio. is seventeen and Boyd is thirty. Thirty seven. That's right. I, I, must say, oh, I don't know so much about it's Boyd. Twenty off. Yeah, but there's a seven but in it's there. The there's a seven in there. Yeah, for sure. Man, like. I'll tell you what, oh, yeah, the boys numbers can't be one syllable. They do. I suppose they do. <laughs> one, one syllable. One they do rhyme in a way. Both played about 20 games. The, the funniest is when, like, a number. But they look completely different. I know, but Boyd <laughs> Kemp. <laughs> yeah, true. Just, I'll tell you what, I almost stuffed up. Uh, I have trouble with Harry Himmelberg and Harry Perryman for mm. some because they're both Harrys. Mm. Yeah, and right. I have to really think mm. about it. They look nothing alike, but it's mm. just the Harry. No, it's, it's a good, good, um, it's good. Yeah, it's it's funny things. Named oh. in the AFL, Ooh, which Hudgy gets and Roth. you. Hudgy and Hudgy Roth, Roth, Roth got, got you last bit, week. Yeah. But, um, yeah, Schoenberg from the Crows. Yes, Sh- Schoenberg. Think, I reckon for the first 10 games he played was Schoenberg and Schoenberg. And Some Schoenberg. players are, are, are 10 years in and still getting butchered. Mm. Um, one will come to mind in a moment. Pitney, Pitnet. It's Pitnet, isn't it? What? 
Uh, Bob Vassell was called straight. I, I actually it. don't even. I think that he doesn't oh, I don't know. know. Not sure. Re- Just I go with see. It. I called Nick Revolt. Revolt. Mm. A lot of people called him Revolt. I grew up with Lee Montagna. Drove him to footy training twice a week. And then he hits the AFL and goes all Italian and goes Montagna. But he to the Bogans out at the Northern Knights, of which I was he's one, Montagna. he was Montagna. Yeah, yeah, it's good so to know. I don't know. Mm. But I'm thinking, I know this kid. I've known him since he's 15. Mm. Um, oh, I don't know. Mm. I like right. it. So Boyd and Kemp, anyway. Boyd, Boyd and Kemp, anyway. <laughs> what the, the big issue. Are we still going? The big issue here oh, is still going. do <laughs> not cor- correct your co call okay. on Oh, air. yeah, never you do, do that. quietly. No. Can I? I've got one more. Okay. <laughs> No, this is a really good one. You gave okay. him the... You gave him the no. Before we went, right. I said... Oh, I've got I to tell you. I had feedback that said less you, shit stories, no, more this, good this ones. this is a really good one, okay? okay. A Mick will like this. And, and it's never got out, and it involves Jimmy Bartel, who I love. Yes. Because he's a 200-plus fan. He's going to come on 200-plus because he got 100 hit-outs right, as yeah. a third man. Wow. Ah, ah, see, ah, I did yeah, a yeah. game with Jimmy once, and uh, they flew in Carl Langdon to be the ball by ball. I was still finding my way at this yeah. time, so I'm doing a bit of boundary work, I, I believe. And uh, <laughs> Jimmy Bartel specials, right? And um, early doors, so he doesn't know much about Carl Langdon. Uh, he's met him for the first time, shaking his hand, yeah. and Carl's calling double him. Double premiership very good player. Yeah, double premiership. Yeah. Big man in the West, Carl Peroxide hair. Anyway, so yes. about two minutes into the game, um, Carl's, I reckon we've caught Carl's, off guard here. Carl's I calling away. <laughs> And, uh, and Jimmy Bartel goes, that's a great point, Kempy. <laughs> oh, and I go, Dean Kemp. He's oh, no. Kempy thinks he's Dean Kemp. Oh, no. <laughs> right? oh, no. So I go, oh, I'll let that go through the keeper. We're all entitled to a howler. And 10 minutes later, oh, as Kempy said earlier, he's calling him Dean Kemp. And Carl Langdon's a proud man. He's on billboards in the West. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'm thinking, how much longer do I let this go for? <laughs> so I went up to, everyone's getting a pie at half time. And I, I've broken What the, year is this? Oh, uh, this is about... Seven or eight years ago? Yeah. Not that long. Say 2016, 2017. Mm. Uh, and, and Jimmy was mortified. He started blaming concussions. He goes, I've oh. had too many concussions. I thought it was Dean Kemp. The, the bloke <laughs> that got taken out by Rashudo, that's Carl Langdon. How fucking embarrassing. Yeah. No one even complained. Oh, but I guess to fuck. the listener at home, Carl was Kempy. Yeah. That's so <laughs> but good. But it went the entire game. I've oh. just Now that we're talking clang, I don't know if we're getting into any footy today, but I've got one more for you that I literally struggled even. I've like, you know, when it's that embarrassing, you bring it out mm. here, you like don't want to talk about it ever mm. again. Mm. So in um in COVID, <clears throat> excuse me, in COVID, I was doing a couple of cashies just to get by. Of course. We all were. Yeah. We always do. Yeah. And this business came and uh, my manager was like, mate, they want you to like MC this co- um Zoom call for the whole business and sort of talk about the whole business, interview mm. the CEO, talk to Tom Mitchell, you and Tom Mitchell do a bit of a Q&A, talking about training and the CEO's there in the business. And I was like, yeah, yeah no worries. I've done this. I was doing it weekly. Mm. So I'm going the whole time. Internet's always fucking up, right? So you can't get it. They couldn't yeah, talk yeah. to me. And I was just, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to keep running with it, guys. All good. Like, I know what I'm doing. I'm the professional. So I'm interviewing Tom Mitchell and I'm like, thank you, Michael, from um, Flower Power, the business. And, uh, you know, like the whole National time referring business. him to to F- Michael from Flower Power, Michael from Flower Power, Michael from Flower Power. I get to the end. Yeah. His name Matthew oh, and yeah. he works for Flow Power. Oh. Oh, so I've been calling no. him Michael what from Flower man. Power for like an hour the whole time that everyone's just pissing themselves. Mm. And it gets to the end and it's it's Matt from Flow Power. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know what the vi- – Surely you did not get that gig again. <laughs> I didn't get it again. Yeah. No, I did not get that gig again. What is Flow Power – like, Oh, they were an electrical company. What do you think Flower Power did? I don't oh. know what. I, I would like to do one for Flower Power. <laughs> do you know what the funniest – Do you know what the funniest <laughs> That's part That's a great clanger. Was? So when, once we left, we went over to the riser one day and we're having a beer. Mm. And this girl came up to me. And she goes, oh, my God. And I was like, oh, yeah, do you like the podcast? Flo- she goes, no, I work for Flow Power. <laughs> I saw you. <laughs> Good story. Like, I, saw, I saw you. I was in that meeting. You kept calling out Boss Matt. That's one of those it things was where you so, say, it wasn't that bad, was no, it? She goes, no, what? We still talk about it. We still, it talk, about it. We still talk about it to it was, this day. It was, well, that's it. If it keeps going yeah. on, it's bad. Yeah. Like, one, is okay. <laughs> but when I looked at it, though, I kept seeing – I didn't look at it at the time, but you know in the chat mm. how it pops up and it's like, it's it's not Michael, it's Matt. It's like, <laughs> like the whole time and I just kept like not watching it. Anyway, fuck me. Bounce oh. back, good resilience. Yeah, bounce yeah. back. Bounce back yeah. clangers. Hey, weekend stories. Oh. Um, fair bit going on this weekend. Mick Barley, you, you guys are just absolutely dominating there in the West, down at Werribee. In Very the West, exciting. yeah. yeah. In, like, like, Western Southern like Southern Southern in the West. Yeah, yeah you're yeah. Like, yeah. No yeah. one really knows what's going on outside yeah. of the Western Southern. Congratulations. Beat Collingwood. Collingwood, yeah. 
Um, looking good. good effort, isn't it? Hey, look, I'm going all right. Did you punch right. up Ginevan? Oh, who's this? No, no, Wait, not at all. Did you rough up Ginevan? No, but he brought the crowd. I appreciate yeah, he does it. I like him. Brings, no, did, is he playing at AFL standard? Oh, I think the week before, the couple of weeks before he did. Mm. It's he hard when you're playing against really such a well. good system. No, uh, it's hard when you How do you playing. shine against the system? You can't the shine system. against a system like the Werribee have. The system, and that's all we were. The yeah. system. <laughs> <laughs> we were just like a connected system. Yeah. But what um, I will say about Jack Inman, he kicked a sh- had a shot at goal, right? Mm. And the ball bounced. It's like it was like on a trampoline. He did a snap at goal, mm, and it I've bounced. Done that. It bounced like felt like about five meters out. It's one of those ones where it might just like trickle end over end and go, you know, nose height through mm. the goals. Mm. But it hit its end, and it nearly hit the top of the post. It, it, it was like a balloon. It wasn't a it wasn't a bouncy ball. Was no, it? well, I'm thinking I was I've thinking maybe like a bouncy no. ball. But he was. Um, there's going to be opportunity at Collingwood. Well, there was four. I, I did a. I'm not quite a ball by ball. We went a bit of ball by ball. I was special. No, uh, special. I was special. He did a, a phantom call by himself. I was a. Co- yeah, well, that's yeah, that's on the all, cards. We've all done Are you that. coming to help? I'll help you. Yeah. David King did that for me as a young fellow. Uh, let's not and get sidetracked. Never forgotten it. Let's <laughs> not get sidetracked. So we're going to go and do some fantasy. Let's actually talk a little bit of footy here. Yeah, let's go. And then we play my ball by ball. Collingwood. So we played them in the VFL yesterday. Before the game, uh, Billy Frampton got pulled out mm. of the side. So that He's means in. Billy's in. He's in. So there's, there's a scoop. Billy's in the side on Billy Friday. Uh, Will Kelly got pulled out, so he'll probably be in the side on yeah. Friday to play the Cats. Mm. Um, and then I'm thinking, like, Ginneman's been in good form leading up to the weekend. He still kicked two goals, so I reckon he'll be sniffing around for Friday night. Yeah. Well, they need a sm- they're, they're too big, so they mm. pulled out. They nicked right Akos. Now. Well, so the injuries in the weekend. Murphy. Murphy, Frampton. Bang. Yep. Done. Dacos is. Well, that's, got, uh, that's potentially Ginevan, isn't it? And one yeah. of the boys pushes into the midfield. Yeah. You'd think uh, it's, it's hard because Nick Dacos you know is pretty what, good. I can't really replace him. No. You know what it's like with um with footy? Cause, and you don't know what it's like. This is like me get an AFL club. Hang on, so, like, so Butsy wouldn't? No, no, you would as well. Sorry, you would have. You know <laughs> what? We'd all know what this is like. I did a pre season <laughs> yeah. Rich, man. For eight weeks. I, I saw, I saw Richo's dick. <laughs> I was. I was the biggest like it. for like. And Aaron Fiora. <laughs> so I have been there. I've showered with these men. I've put so, you know, your okay. body wash on with these men, Dylan. Don't <laughs> leave me out. I'm only getting over this 20 years on. Sorry, you, you would know what this is like. That shit. No, no, you oh, would know what this is like, but yeah. it's a little bit different. If you've I'm, showered I'm with them, you've been there, mate. Yeah. No, no, but I'm, I'm more many in the fact that you're a big man, so it's like big for man. like normally. You're saying. So when it's big when man. it's a smaller player, what I would all, all often get really disappointed with is I'd go, oh, the halfback went out. Yeah, halfback. That's me, halfback yeah. in. They shuffle no. the decks. They put a midfielder back, a forward in there, a wing here. They end up bringing in some fucking full forward. And you're like, well, I was ready, mate, yeah. life for life. And, and I was a bit the same. But yeah. now that I'm in the coaching space, yeah. it, it is bloody hard. Yeah. Like, and you've. Yeah. So, anyway, the um, Collingwood situation will be interesting because their depth will get tested. Yeah. I think Tom Mitchell, um, big corky, Taylor Adams didn't see out the game. So, there's mm. a bit going on there at the park. There's a young player there that's a first round pick that isn't playing yet, midfielder. Uh, Finn McRae, he's Might out be injured. Him. Yeah, he Might be um, him. He's a good player, isn't he? I reckon he's he'll, number uh, Allen. number one, isn't he? No, Lipinski's one. He must be. He's number, he's number eight. Kicks the ball pretty well. Oh, Bianco. Bianco, good player. Bianco. I like, I like Bianco, Bianco too. System sorted him. System, the system on the weekend. Sorted him. Anyway, <laughs> um, but like, you got a story from the weekend? <laughs> well, <I'll>, Brett, <laughs> I've got I've got a Brett story. I'm actually if you, you noticed that one story I'm, ago. Um, if I look a bit puffy today, <laughs> I've been onioned. So Mick, I don't know if you're allergic to anything, but I, I'm allergic to onion. He nearly lost us a sponsor last week because he said he wouldn't eat Yo Pro. Um, <laughs> So I get through the whole weekend. I have to be very careful when I'm calling footy because if I touch an uh, if I touch an onion, my not only does my face blow up and I feel like going to the bathroom a lot, <laughs> but I I get extraordinarily cloudy, like bad. Like you feel like you've had twenty beers. Explain Cloud. to me. Explain to me how you think you got this uh, fructose uh, intolerance. Uh, it was in Bali, wasn't it? No, no. Well, no, you I always... swallowed you swallowed some pool water <laughs> in no, Bali. I will. I, I've always had it. Looking back, right, mm. I used to like French onion soup, mm. but whenever I'd have it, I would poo myself <laughs> and sometimes vomit. But I thought everyone did, right? So I've had, and then I'd have a. So you'd, sit, you'd sit down for a bowl of French, French onion, onion soup. soup. That was my favourite. And you'd yeah. look each other in the eye and say, well, enjoy this because for the next 24 hours, we're going to all down. Yeah, house. and I'm going to really <laughs> feel like shit tomorrow. But I just thought it was like having too many beers. Oh, it's the price you pay for a good French onion <laughs> soup. This is when I'm like 10 years old. So, and then I'd have um, onion on a sausage and I'd be sitting at school going, Jesus 
God, I shouldn't have done that, you know. Like, so it was always there, Mick, bubbling away, this onion issue. But uh, Dylan's right, I was training for a long swim uh, about seven or eight years ago, a bit of a charity kind of peer-to-pub uh, scenario. I don't know what a long swim is. And I went to, uh, I was practicing my tumble turns, and I got a pint full of pool water. I went, holy shit, uh, I must, you know, breathe with my mouth open and got a pint full. Didn't think much of it. And then two laps later, I've done it again. Long story short, Another two, bit of pool water. two days later, so I've had two pints of pool water, <laughs> I was crook as a rabid dog, right? Like sweating, uh, losing weight on the on the porcelain bus. And uh, I, I went to the doctor and said, I am no good here. And uh, they did all these tests and it, it, I, fec- uh, I got to Giardia, which you get in Bali, like a really, really bad Bali belly because someone had – Pooped in the water, oh, and you've eaten it. I ate the poop. <laughs> yeah. So, mate, I, my and there must have been some onion in that. It took. I, I'm getting a lot better now. <clears throat> I couldn't eat anything for a while. And so, I, is that your weekend story? Oh. Well, I did. I um, oh, no, I got through my two games of footy. Called a bit of ball by ball. Yeah. We'll play some upsets in a minute of my uh, yeah. Carlton work, yeah, which was quite good. Yeah. Big game. But uh, so this is the irony of it all, Mick. I went out with <laughs> mum and dad. Couple of reds. No, nice. we're, we're over the, the, the. Now move on to the nice steak. But I ate some onion bickies <laughs> on the cheese platter last night. Uh, last night, nine o'clock at night, and I'm, I've been crook as a dog all yeah, day. He's been and quite cloudy. Yeah. Cookie. So avoid. It's it's quite a cross to bear. Yeah. yeah. So don't <laughs> okay. offer me any. You want to? You want my calling spot at SEM? Yeah. Give, Give me, me some onions. onions. Right. Done. And I'm stuffed. Uh, Next right. story. Oh, no, we'll come back Brett, to you. We'll yeah, come back we're talking to you. about Brett. We'll tell you Brett's story quickly. Okay, so <laughs> I'm a bit disappointed Brett isn't here because uh, – so after the game, should we call him and you can tell a story? Yeah, on. Um, so I've had a good one. I've had a good one behind the mic. I've slaved over a hot microphone. Yeah. Carlton St Kilda, yeah. big or big SEN audience. Got the player ID right, and uh, got the player ID right. Do you yeah. want to play a little Boy, bit of play, play now? Play some okay, so here, here we go. Here we go. Nice. Was that Pause the two bounce effect? one? Pause the effect. Was, was that, that the crowd the talk? No, was that the three bounces? <laughs> oh, you got to extend that. You're no, going to extend the end. Let it go. No, no, you're, you're descriptive. You're too, great. too short. Home. <clears throat> Just let the crowd bubble. I was looking at BP there, your co-caller, and there he is. Not getting a gun. Getting, getting suffocated of <laughs> yeah, yeah. oxygen. Honey, Dow! Okay, we are through okay, this game. Okay, right. okay, so Mick, I've had a good one, okay? Yeah, you uh, caught me call well. Call the socks off it. Yeah, uh, hang on, I can't turn myself off here. Right, let's get to the story. Or I'm going to not get invited back here. Yeah, this is your last turn. Okay, we go. so we're, we're post game. We've got a heart out. You know how it feels when you call a good one. Yeah, it's a bit like playing a good one. Oh, yeah, 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 just um, yeah, hoping for a little bit of attention here. How many yeah. people are going to hear this? I hope the people in the car really enjoyed yeah. that pause for effect sort of work. <laughs> and and, um, and you're through. But, and. Uh, SEN Stadium, that people can tune in. Well, they, the I, they, I think they were looking up to the box saying, "Good one, <laughs> big fella." Like you know, when you can feel <laughs> you going well. Up. Mick. They so, were giving you the double ups. They were giving the double ups. Okay, <laughs> I was I was helping their experience. So we're um, you know you're going down from the media center down mm. to the B two lift, which is the area where you get to park underneath the ground. You're not too far away from the players. So I'm having a chat to BP, my co-caller, mm. and uh, getting a bit of um, love from some fans. Yeah. Uh, there was a little Naturally. bit of Sharpie work going on, a couple of autographs. Where were the fans from, you think? You're calling or you're, uh, you're podcasting uh, or you're well, Channel 10? Who knows? Port Magpies? <laughs> Maybe Port Magpies. Yeah. Triple, triple threat. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Dylan, the Dylan long, Alcott. Potentially uh, the long swim. Maybe the long swim. Dylan Alcott um, dropped in for a chat. We're having a bit of a chat to Dylan, number one ticket holder. Um, so we're, we're just sort of- Best Dylan in Australia. He, I think so. Waxing <laughs> with the fans. And uh, you would know this, Mick, after some of the good games at Fremantle. I'd know you, this. You want to give- I'd equal, know this. Give them back. And you would too. <laughs> And you, you want to give equal love to all the fans, yeah. okay? And as I was doing this, so we're signing a few couple of photos. Yes, I did call very well today. Like the pause for effects sort of work and <laughs> chatting to Dill Alcott about having a beer. Brett Deledio rolls out yeah. with Mark Murphy. They'd been doing a rival station, ABC, yeah. Yeah. Uh, ball by oh, special comments. Yeah, just in behind. And, uh, back row. <laughs> Brett gives me a little tap on the bum. Yeah, on the cheek. Butsy, Butsy, how are you? And I've turned from a few of my fans <laughs> that I'm signing autographs for and said, how are you, mate? How are you, mate? And Brett looked Go at again. me. How are you, mate? <laughs> Brett looked at me and said, 
Well, no, he, with with just sad eyes, like a, like a bunny <laughs> rabbit about to get shot. Yeah, <laughs> mate, mate, he's just mated me. Said to Mark Murphy, he's mated me, and then turned around like with disdain <gasps> and said, "It's Brett." Mate. Let's see what let's see oh. what Brett has to say about this because I wouldn't be Brett doesn't like to be disrespected. And, no, he's a he's a very big player. No, nah. you got a heart out. No, no, and he's Champinus. How are you, Brett? Are you going all right, my friend? You could say hey, mate. What's happening? No, mate, we just miss you again. It's a Monday night, you know, that time of the week. People are missing you, but it's family time. Yeah, that's right. Just building a tower, mate, with the little one. Um, hey, Brett, I've got a third party here that uh, believes. He may have mated you yesterday. Oh, no. <laughs> One of the all-times, boys. Yeah. <laughs> One of the all-time mates. You can't, you, can't, you can't mate a champion of the game. No. Oh, mate. Well, I thought I was uh, I was being friendly and going to talk to a bloke, and I got mated by a guy that I thought we were mates with, <laughs> and he's giving me the, hey, mate. mate. Oh, <laughs> there was a delay. There was a delay. He paused. He paused. No. No, Brett. No, I don't was, you try and back out of this, mate. Yeah. No, 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 no. You would beep, know beep. from the the Tigers days and uh, and, with and the Genovese days when with, with Rich Umphiora, when you're giving a bit of love to the fans, Brett. Uh, you just need to be engaged. And I was just, I'm not a great multitasker, and you've given me a little bum tap, and I just, I just made it, Joe. I, I did. I'm sorry. <laughs> But I, I'd had a good call and I was a bit up and about. <laughs> I was drinking my own bathwater in the yeah. car park, to be honest. Yeah, righto. <laughs> <laughs> we love it, Brett. Hey, right. yeah, mate, we need you back on the show yeah. soon enough. We've got a few comments here. Less uh, less mountains, more podcasting, mm. mate. <laughs> Fair enough. I was actually on the skis this week, boys, not, yeah, uh, not on the mountain bike. Yeah. You're sore from that, Brett. When you, when you go skiing and you Mount don't Porter? ski much, you get really sore. Mm, that is true. How do you go on the skis, Brett? Uh, mate, I had a good laugh at myself falling over quite a bit, but uh, it's only the second time I've done it since I was 11. So Yeah, um, and you're a natural done, most things, sure, Yeah, you're, uh, you're pretty good, mate, just like cricket and footy and You'll mountain bike natural. riding. Anyway. Natural. We better let yeah, um, we better Brett you go, mate. Be Aspen time. with Richo next. See you, Chief. All right, see, you boys. see you, champion. See you, mate. See you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> hey, moving on. Footy's big question marks of this week. Could Paddy Dow be a Will Langford 2014 Hawks type going into September? Surprise pack at midfielder. <laughs> I don't think. Uh, well, I don't want to sound. I, I don't tagging, want to sound brutal, he? right? But um, Carlton, when they bring their players that are out back in, he, he probably gets squeezed again. Yeah. So, I, I'd hope so. For because he's, he's an AFL standard. You never know player. what happens in a week in footy. Though, exactly. Do you? No, it's, it's cliche. Um, you never know. Well, that's exactly right. Well, like, if he can hold on, he'll be a good but performer. Who's out? So Kennedy's coming back sometime. Chera's mm-hmm. coming back at some time. Chera's a hammy. He'll be back um, last round, maybe. What Chera. about what's Kennedy done? He Big Matty Kennedy back. Mm. Walsh is coming back in a few weeks. Yeah. With so there's three guys in a similar position that put him under pressure. He's earned the right to be the sub. Sub. Yeah. Can I tell you who's one of my favourite players? And I've, I've been on him hard. Bond and Pelly. I've been on him really, really hard at Carlton um, for probably 12 months now. Matty Owies. Mm. He's I think a good player, he, isn't he? I think you've got to say that he's one of the best Category B rookies that's come into the game. He hadn't played footy for like something like 15 years. He's a basket basketballer. Basketballer. Yeah. Really? He, must yeah. have been he ran the point. He must have been running he the point. He ran the point. Yeah. It's like Muggsy Bogues. Yeah. But I think he's, <laughs> where, I think he's he a star. Uh, like what, uh, what level? College. What level? He's playing college hoops. He's a star. Really? Over. Yeah. He's a star. He's a star like Jermaine Jones. Yeah, he's a star. Jermaine Jones, Matt Owies. Mm. I'm going to put, a, get, to put together a, a star team we will. for you. Jones. Star team. Jermaine Jones, Matt Owies. can't remember who else was in it. But yeah. we'll, we'll well, can I just say on Dow, and this is in his uh, corner and in his favour, for like I guess at the moment fringe play is such a terrible word because they're all there. Mm. He's loved. Like he got a standing ovation from the fans on the weekend. Like for a 60 game that's in and out, you can be a whipping boy. He is not a whipping boy. He's so, like the one that doesn't get a go and the supporters always want him so in. It's a good I place say, to be. I'll just say one thing on this because I feel like- Were you know, that? Well, n- not, in, not in a sense that I think Dow's a much better player than me. I don't know but I think that. that when you are a player that doesn't get a game and when you go in, you give effort and, and whatnot. Like, look, Dow's obviously not playing for a reason. There's mm. obviously guys ahead of him. They're not holding him out because they don't like him. Like, they probably no. love the bloke, mm. but he's not playing for certain reasons. Well, the knock was he wasn't no. damaging. Was no, no. Well, that's what it's something. Yeah. It's yeah. like, it's defensively, it's he's not impacting Leg the game speed, enough. you got what, creeps, all Whatever those things. There's many players. Mm. So what happens is when they do get opportunity and they come in, they play well, mm. like this is probably what happened with me. I'd come in. They'd respect you for coming in and playing well. They want you to play more, but they're probably not getting exposed to your deficiencies as much as... If he was getting a game every week, they might not be saying mm. the same thing, which is I'm saying about me too. Underexposure. Exactly. Yeah, but he's played that 60 makes sense. Now. Well, Joe Watson, uh, it makes, Joe, makes Watson uh, Joe Watson, 
I'm not saying him, didn't by the way. Regular, no, this, but, this is a thing with a lot of players in the AFL. It's why Joe Cajun didn't play sorry. regular AFL footy until he was 23. No, mm. until he dropped the weight, didn't he? <clears> they, they yeah. had, um, Tim made him go down to Leo Barry's gym and box like three mornings yeah. a week, and he, he shed like good weight for a young kid, like mm. six, yeah. seven kilos. He became um, a, yeah. No, you're right. I, I think, I, when I did you think Dow's got to go. You were 22, weren't you? 23. 22. 22, there you go. I, I, that I was still think back then. Mm. Dow yeah. should go to another club next year and get a fresh start, though. Yeah, th- those inside mids are interesting, right? Because I think you go, if you're not a real top line inside midfielder mm. established in your team, you, the, it'll follow you to the next club and the next club. But he was pick. Like, you look at Will Brody, who's, who was good last year for the Dockers. This yeah. year, kind of found himself back down. Yeah. Um, Matt Crouch, he's been all Australian. One B and F's ca- like he's just and got they, back And these in. are the type of guys that are going to come into size. Whenever they, like Matt Crouch is back in now and playing well. But they're the type of guys that their coaches can pull them in and know that they're going to perform. Yeah. But it's just that risk and reward versus, yeah, what what how the side looks balance-wise and yeah, all that sort of shit. All that stuff, which you guys hate, but it's, 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 it's the reality. It's reality. But you only need one or two assistant coaches have it in for you and you're in trouble, I yep. reckon. And that once they get an idea – I reckon you have to play mm. four good games to undo it. Yeah, yeah. is that fair? Mm. There's a lot Probably of glass half that. empty. Oh, the, the Blues, he can't do this. If we're, if we're, we're talking a lot of footy here. That's good. No, the no. Blues, too right? much footy. The Blues, um, right now they're kind of looking, looking the goods because they're playing well. Mm. But Zach Fisher went out of the side. Yeah, right. Good. And we love Zach. Zach's we do love Zach. Friend, friend of the show. Um, went out. And there's a little bit. Zach Fisher's in their best team, right? But maybe he just kind of played for a side that had never kind of made it and he'd been always in. He'd never really had that, all right, you're out of the side, you're going to have to work your way back in. Had a good attitude about it, played well, comes back in and he's now playing at a higher level than what he has been ever in his career yeah. from the weekend. Yeah. So I think there's there's merit in all that and people will probably look at Zach Fisher's game yesterday and say, how did Michael Voss ever put him out of the side? Yeah, but it, it got it him helps. to get there. Yeah, yeah. You get him out and you make him kind of dig in for a bit and you come back in and bang. Yeah. And going back, whoever, well done, Vossie. whoever put him back was a good call. He looked really dynamic. Mm. Yeah, he wanted to go. Yeah. No, I like it too. Um, just on Dow, though, let's not forget, he was like a pick four or something too. Yeah, so he he's, got the, he's got the talent. Anyway, a few more questions, boys. That was the first one. I know Mick's got a hard out. We've yeah. only got him for no, a certain I'm, amount of time. pretty good, actually. Um, I'll board, miss bedtime if we, if we linger a bit. Board have lost four of their last five. Uh, yes, four of their last four. Four of their last four. Yeah. Four on the Makes bounce. it a little bit more dramatic. Four on the I, Did I say this? <laughs> did I say something about Port Adelaide? Kane Corn said it, but. No, no, he loves Port Adelaide. Yes. I, I said this earlier in the year. Port Adelaide have to be the team that go as hard as they can for the first 15 rounds. They get that fucking tired and then they fall off every mm. year. Mm. Is that fair? It's probably a bit of that. Um, is that fair? Well, they've been a prelim kind of side. So- you, you, you used to play for them. What I'm saying is they've been- I'm the, uh, the qualified one to comment on Port Adelaide. Sorry, I should have asked, asked you I've got this. the tattoo on the ankle <laughs> and uh, all that sort of stuff. Um so I can say something about it. Yeah. I'm just trying. I'm just <laughs> going to make sure it's right because yeah. um, this is my wheelhouse. Yeah. And I, I'm on the past players sort of uh, mailing list. <laughs> so and I get invited to the functions, Mick. So I I can't just sort of shoot. Well, from that's the why hip I asked here. Mick just because you'll give us some. I shit I think answer. that's crap. What you just said. They, is it really they true? They failed in a prelim, but it wasn't because when they was prelim? ran. Uh, when the dogs, the dogs knocked them off. Mate, the doggies in 2016. They just were deer in the headlights. They just had a bad one. They just had a really bad one. They it's should a have tough been a day to have a bad one, isn't oh, it? Oh, shocking. Yeah. I mean, that's... And how did the past players take it? Uh, they were very disappointed. Are you, are you in a WhatsApp or just an email? Uh, uh, are you in a, there's a difference with past players. Either you're on. in a WhatsApp yeah. or you're on a, like... Mailing list. Mailing list, He's which is mailing like list. letters. I, I'll tell you what I'm on. I'm on letters, emails, I get a text, I get the free membership, and the invite to three or four functions a year. So no WhatsApp? Uh... So you're not in there with like Dom Cassisi and I'm Toby Dom, Thurst, Primus. Tre- Treaders, <laughs> no, you're not. Primus. I am. No, you're not. No, but are you in a but WhatsApp over with there, them? It's one in all in. If you've pulled on the prison bars, I stand okay, up there with, with Jack Kale and yeah. bloody Scotty Hodges yeah. are you and Are in a Treads. WhatsApp group? Uh, yeah, WhatsApp, yeah. yeah. No, show me it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, Jack I'll get Surgeon. it. Jack Surgeon. Yeah, search. Yeah. Yeah. Tommy Logan. Search. Yeah. Tommy Logan. All Lake the boys. Nick Lowe. You play 17 Port Maggie's games or Treadray. 
you're all the same. Yeah, the West End, it, the I'm West End not, I'm, not seeing this, I'm not seeing this WhatsApp group. I'll find it for you. My you phone's Surely they're Did messaging all the time. Well, so what are you saying? If I'm on the general pass players mailing list and get the free membership <laughs> and the badge, it's not as good as the WhatsApp. Yes. <laughs> I'm he, saying that. Why, why is it any different? You want to be in the WhatsApp he group. He took great oh. offence to you saying that they're going to run out of steam. Yeah, he did. So what are you going to – Kane's in the, in the group. Obviously, so, 300. Because you're not in the WhatsApp, are you going to write a letter back to him this week and say, I was on a podcast and Dylan said this – because you can't be in the WhatsApp group Huts, and say Huts that. Huts writes the messages. Uh, <laughs> Dave Hutton, Huts. Yeah. We, we check in on each what other for mental health. The Wakelands, Wakelands they're in. Yeah, yeah. Play, play with Wakes. Play with <laughs> Choppy Pickett. Shut <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> yeah, up. Uh, your question. That they, uh, they are running out of steam. Are we, we signing Kenny back up as a pass player? Who? Kenny, Hingley. Uh, sorry. Can you say uh, that? I think Is we there should. What's up going should, on there? Yeah, two yeah. years. You think, what are the boys saying about it? We should. Uh, no, Who most support? Other than, other than yeah, Richmond. Uh, no, other very, than no, I support two teams, <laughs> Geelong and Port Adelaide, my, my two loves. That's where so I, how'd uh, you go this weekend with the game? Uh, oh. I was going for Geelong. <laughs> Just. I, you know what it's like? What are the boys going to say in the WhatsApp about that now? You're just been talking about this. I'll tell you why, okay? I'll tell you why I was going for Geelong, because Geelong needed to win to keep this season alive. I like to I like to be back yeah. in two horses in the final. Can finals. I ask you yeah. this question? And and yes. out of legs. Say if there's yeah. a past players event on, mm. and you're on the Nullarbor, like not the Nullarbor, what's the what's the border of Adelaide oh, and the Melbourne? Garn, uh, the, the, train? the train. Yeah. So, so you're well, on the Garn and so you're I'm just met, crossing over. Yeah, right, right. Where it's you're it's, you're it's a good question because I have dealt with this. So you're at the Garn stop where you can catch either side of the track. Either side, back. Geelong, Port Adelaide. Yeah. And there's an event on, right? Mm, Listen, right. you've got letters from both. Yes, I do get them, yes. Yeah, you've had a text message, like Huts. a group text message that's Huts. not, no, but it's not sent out in a group. It's just singly sent yeah. out. Yeah. Like a projected yeah, out. Yeah, about Tuts. Yeah. But no, no past name. It's like dear, dear past player. Yeah, like, yeah. no name. No, no, I get Nick. I yeah. get Nick. No, yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. Which one do you go to? Okay. Because you know what? I, you, you won't believe it. I've actually thought about this. <laughs> Mick. You know what? I think when it's all boiled down, my performance was a little bit better at Geelong. Yeah. yeah. I think after the 12 grand sign on and uh, the, the best ruckman outside the <laughs> AFL sort of stuff, and I've run into a bit of back, <laughs> on the boat. back stress fractures and a PCL, and it just didn't go well there. I had to really fight to get on the park. I think when I go to the Port Adelaide past players functions, they mm. it goes it's off in there. Yeah. Oh, Jesus George Christ, he still owes us money. No free beers for him. <laughs> Whereas at Geelong, I was a bit older. I didn't get as much of a go because they were premiership sides. Mm. Um, I was there at 6 or 7 or 8, so we're mm. talking pretty good. Uh, yeah. You know, mm-hmm. we're backing up Stephen King. But when I got in, Mick, I, I did well. Yeah. And they think I'm a bit mad. So I think <laughs> when you're getting judged, when you roll in with, and start drinking the free beers, I've, I'm slightly – my stock's are a bit higher yeah. at the cats. Yeah, okay. So we'll go with the cats. Okay. Yeah. Any WhatsApp groups with Jimmy Bartel and – Yeah, Jimmy, yeah, text me. Yeah, yeah that's to come on 200 yeah. plus. Good. Yeah. Good. 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 Does he? Good. Yeah. I doubt it. Uh, um, pies, we spoke about that earlier. Who cares at the moment? Well, no, not who cares. Mm. It's going to be difficult to see what happens with Dacos out and a few of their other ones. Um, who do you, do you think that they give the 23 to Joel Amati at the Swans? Uh, no. No, I wouldn't have thought well, so. On the back who do you reckon they give it to? Kicking three a couple of times. Who else are going to give it to? Well, I'd, I'd rest it for a couple of years. You reckon rest it? To you, to well, you I like it going to be pretty good as well. <laughs> yeah, okay. I I'll like tell that. you what, Sellers hey, McClure take offense. loves Hayden McLean. Mm. Big Sellers was frothing at the mouth over the, Hayden McLean. They've got a couple of big ones that just haven't really – Marty's just signed a big contract. Yeah. McLean McLean's well. kind of thereabouts. McDonald's, he's he spruiked as being the best of the lot. Yeah. Oh, this is a question for you, Dilly. Dilly. If you're buddy, right? <laughs> And and we know um, if you he, he's a team player, but but when you're a rock star like that, there has to be a bit of buddy 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 ego about it. Okay, and I, and I only say this because I, w- I was a shit player, and I was also I was quite a selfish shit player. There was a lot of me 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 for a shit player. And while um, the Swans, Buddy's watching that game, and McLean's kicking four, Amadi's kicked two in the first two minutes, and Logan McDonald's taking marks. These kids are shining, mm. and they've kicked twelve straight. Oh, yeah. You think Buddy's a bit There's flat? A bit of that. Would the Carlton mm. draft have tasted a bit sour? Going, you couldn't have waited a few weeks before you shine. Yeah, because maybe yeah. Buddy held them up for about two years. Oh, no, I reckon I think, Buddy would have nah. even watched the game. No, <laughs> yeah, I reckon he's. I reckon into he's the... a bit of a footy nuffer. You you reckon? Reckon? He reckon? He watches the um, under eighteen championships. No, and he goes doesn't. and knocks on on Kenny Beatson's door and says, "Mate, that's, number six, that's WA." Not fact. If that isn't, I don't a, think that's true at all. 
He slap. goes and knocks uh, on Bob 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 <coughs> door and says, "Mate, I watched WA play SA him? this morning. I, I reckon like number six. I don't think that's true. Right. Well, let's let's right. have a wager, charity wager. Yeah, who's going to ask nice him? I don't have any contact. I know I've got connections to Swan Johnny Stevens. It feels a bit, oh, that's true. <laughs> feels a bit strange. It does feel a bit strange. Okay. Okay. Going? I'm just a quick one. If we find out that, that Buddy's an avid watcher of the under-18s, <laughs> um, I come down you to come and, Brock yeah. coaching at Werribee. And, it, and it's paid as well, $20 <laughs> an hour. Yeah. Pay twenty dollars an hour yeah. and and a meal ticket uh, in Just the pokies so afterwards. I'll, yeah. I'll send um, I'll send. I need a reference check, so I'm going to get touch base with Port Adelaide. That's okay. Uh, James Byrne at the the Cats. Yeah, James Byrne. James Byrne, coach his old Zabs. Yeah. He was my uh, mm. captain. Okay. Um, <laughs> Very last good. but not least, Melbourne on track to win a flag. Who are they on the track at the moment? They have a favourite now. See, Pison I think, going I think down. right the footy. Uh, the um, we can get a little bit. Uh, Overwhelmed with the recency bias of situations. Two weeks recency ago, Collingwood couldn't lose it. It was just like, there it is. Good marketing word. Mm. Recency bias. Yeah. So, what happened just now is influencing your melon yeah. and your melon. Oh, I know exactly what you're saying. Yeah. So, that's recency bias. Thank you. So, Collingwood, like two weeks ago, where it's just theirs to win, no one yeah. else can win it. And now they can't win it. So, I, I know yeah. they can win it. Don't, oh, no, don't, they can. Yeah, don't get, don't get, uh, Melbourne, that, that, four I'd weeks say ago, it's they also, couldn't win it. Now they can win it. I'd also say it's the reactiveness bias, mm, which is the exact same thing. It's, but like, it's literally the exact same thing. We here in the AFL are so big on just when something happens, it's like, oh, that's forever. It's mm. like when they someone slid into someone's ankles once and we fucking banned it for the rest of their life. Yeah. yeah. One bloke breaks his leg. He's, he's <laughs> made out of butter. That, that's not on me. That was on Gary Rowland. No, that was Gary Rowland. <laughs> touch wood. I get broken leg. Oh, club. you don't want that. Broken leg. Up. No, but that I That wasn't what I mean. a bad rule, by the way. Taking out of legs at, yeah. at limited velocity when the ball is their priority and their head is going down yeah. versus slide. Mm. Yeah, we don't see many slides yeah. now. Yeah, which, which is, is good. good. good thing. I never jumped off Melbourne, by the way. Are yeah, you happy with them? No, I When's just, Oliver he, back? A uh, week or two. He's getting really close. Their so forward is line is a bit dinky mm. without Fritch in mm. it. Mm. But I like. I reckon Big Van Royen's yet. Oh, yeah. He's yeah, got a big role. He's got a chest. He's got a, he's got a strut. Well. No, he's, he's injured again. No, I know, but he's- Good for he's, Tomo, he's, our good friend. Ben. No, Tomo will come in and play very Tomo's good in. role. Jake Milkshake has done very well. M- since milkshakes. Oh, I thought Milkshakes was running around in the EDFL. Honestly, I, I'm, I'm not an avid no. uh, Casey Scorpions <clears throat> watcher. And unless. Uh, uh, unless they're playing Werribee, <laughs> and I need to look at a big man to and scout. And they're the Casey oh, Demons. So Casey Demons. Well, Scorpions <laughs> in my day, Mick. Uh, um, Didn't Springvale chase you, huh? Yeah, they did. <laughs> we went and had a meeting. Uh, where? Did you actually to, where? Down at the club. Yeah, I had to get the sat now. I had to get the Melway out to get to Springvale. Good, you know, the Ivano boy. And sort of it's a bit easier Preston and Coburg and then of Springvale. Of course. I think she had that Ivano won the AGSV grant. Yeah, yeah, that's how it's gone since you said it. Uh, have you said it already? No, we no, didn't. We no, we should so say that. Shout out to them. Oh, well done so, to the yeah, boys. It's big yes. though, because uh, the AGSV reps, right? They had the rep. Yeah. Training today, and they named best to the best. They named the uh, twenty-two. Yep, and they didn't even get an old Ivan, Ivan Hoey in. They got the old assumption boy down to present the jumper. Well, that's, that's bullshit. Enough. How many times did you play in that? Uh, once. Gee, you're late bloomer, weren't you? Yeah, I didn't even get a game in the ones at assumption until year twelve. That's disgusting. <laughs> Let's I ran in the twos. Car- That's unbelievable. David King ran around in the twos at Assumption as well. Yeah. Carol must have occasionally he, not liked the good players. He, nah, <laughs> he, uh, he, he made you, you just, earn your spot. Yeah, that's okay. Made you earn your spot. And then he give you two minutes. In, in the seniors in year 11, he'd say, yeah. all right, son, get out there. What about Sorry, the assumption how you used to sing the song at three-quarter time? Do they Warcry. still do that? I think That's they do. extraordinary. Yeah. Remember that? War Cry, they, yeah. They we had a War Cry, th- though. Yeah, but we didn't do it at three-quarter time. Were they doing it arrogantly like they've won? Yeah, or was it like a it, I think it was to <clears throat> to freak you out when yeah. you're just a young sort of pubescent 16-year-old. Yeah, and, and then we're thinking we're in this, we're in this, and they war cried at three-quarter time and then you piss your pants. <laughs> I reckon my first game of like senior 18, under-18 footy, was scarier than like the first AFL game. If, if playing you know when, the first AFL. Yeah, you know when you're just like you're so young. Well, you're you're, you're, you're Cause a kid. I played. I think I played in year ten. So like you don't even talk to the year twelves when you're in year ten. I did. You no, play- they were good to us. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I didn't have bad. Have, I didn't have any friends. On that, the main point uh, Michael <laughs> and I discussed today from the the school footy, which is a long way gone for all of us, is the oh the baseline. The baseline. Oh, my I mean, what a time! Oh, baseline, what a time the to be lining up school footy. Yeah. I mean, they're back in our day. If you if you kicked your your five or six or seven or maybe once a mm. nine, uh, you, you had <laughs> did to go someone on, do a nine? Did they? Well, um, 
Oh, yes. yes. Peninsula. Uh, I got the uh, big Went bag. Mentone. 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 Oh, I knew it was going to be. But, but, but. <laughs> everyone but, gets, everyone but gets back. We got a, a seven against Destin and Grammar. That's so, good. what? There was Ken no Fletcher. Uh, Kenny. Good, yeah. good and Ken, matchup. Kenny actually came up and said, You remind me of my boy, uh, Dustin. I think you might go on, son. And I disappointed <laughs> him, too. No bullshit. Uh, anyway, so back then, for your baseline, you had to brag about yeah. your performance at the train station <clears throat> or the Eltham Roll Arena. Did, yeah, you know, to to the girls. Oh, mm. did you catch a bit of me in the first day? No, 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 I bag seven. No, I didn't. There's no Instagram. Yeah. They just thought you were bullshitting. Yeah. These little bloody lightweights. If they take a mar- yeah, kick one little dribbler, it's in slow mo. Mm. It's it's had twenty thousand views know. before baseline you school on well, Monday. If you haven't seen out there, guys, baseline footy, baseline basketball, and on Instagram, they do incredible highlights. Videos of the under eighteen footy, but I think Butsy. Yes. Sometimes your memories are better than what actually really yeah. happened, and I'm 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 even sitting there myself going. I'm sort of happy they're not there. Because yeah. you know and sometimes you think you do something sick, mm. like your mark last week. No. And then you see, go back and watch it and you go, that wasn't as good as I thought yeah. it was. No, I never said that. What else? The <laughs> mark was clutch. You just sometimes got to hold on to one at a key time. Yeah. You know, I, mean, I saw the go. vision. Yeah, yeah. yeah, just a yeah, good actually, It was safe actually, grab. not often do I roll on the floor laughing, but that was a, that was a roll. <laughs> hey, uh, safe, didn't Butsy it? boy, big safe thank as a you. Church. To, big thank you this week. No, I'm saving him. Save him, save him. Big thank you to you, mate, for this week. You were best on. No, I don't think I was. Yeah, you got to go. I'm off to do some tumble turns in the pool. Oh, that I'm, I'm going to text Huts and say, um, <laughs> I like the messages, uh, Huts, but what about the WhatsApp group? <laughs> <laughs> but I do oh, like you, my past players' oh. Thank you, Willie. Good on you, Willie. Good on you, Willie. See you, boys. See you, see you, see you next week. See you later, bye. Mm-hmm.